Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Neverwinter Nights. Alright, as I alluded to at the end of the, the last episode I just recorded here, I've got a list of uh, items that I would recommend you hold on to um, for the sake of being able to carry it over into Chapter 3. I'm not for sure certain if it'll actually let you carry them over, but if you can, it's a good idea to hold on to them because they don't take, m take up much space. Obviously, I went over the, the Mascar and Tomes uh, last ep at the end of, uh, during the last episode, uh, so yeah, those uh, included, I guess, three quartz crystals. To uh, I guess use each of the uh, the Tomes once. You need three quartz crystals, one fire beetle belly, belly two fen berries, two skeleton knuckles, and two Edercap silk glands to be able to get one of each. Anyway, so that's taken care of. Now, as for the items that I have that you want to hold on to, I'll post the list in the video description just to make sure that uh, there's no confusion about it. But the things you want to hold on to are dr any any dragon blood, fairy dust, gargoyle skulls, iron wood, special holy water, and then these will be the the following will be for specifically uh, forging weapons and armor uh, next chapter. So this these are specifically for next chapter. Need three Bodax Tooths, or I guess Bodax Teeth, <laughs> uh, two Gargoyle Skulls, one Fire Beetle Belly, one Quartz Crystal, two Fen Berries, one Slad's Tongue, and one Rakshasa's Eye. So everything else, you can sell. Uh, but yeah, if obviously if you can only make one of each item from the MSKR and Tomes, then uh, yeah, just uh, use those numbers and add them up, and that's how many you need in total, uh, if, you, and if you haven't uh, done that already. So, anyways... This is obviously a very short episode, but yeah, I just wanted to get that out of the way, just so you're prepared for when we actually go into Luskin next time. But, uh, yeah, I might as well just play this out a little bit longer and make my way up there. And I guess to, uh, at least give you some action this episode, yeah. To, uh, I was actually considering not even bother taking the, uh, henchman, but, meh. You know, better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it, you know. And I just pushed her into the side. Oh well. <laughs> uh, is she coming? No, of course not. Damn it! You're so big, Kel. Keep pushing people around. Alright, there we go. Huh. <sighs> Alrighty, and this leads up to the Luskin Gates, but where's Sharma? There she is. We've got a little familiar face to deal with as soon as we go through there, so let's yes. leave her behind so we get all the experience. And we definitely want to buff up for this battle. Uh, okay, so... Uh, endurance, Bliss, Bark Skin, Strength. And let's go. Dark Tongue. <laughs> Let's take out his guards first. Yeah, he's a pretty strong little dwarf, so I guess that kind of now makes sense to me why they waited until now to uh, have him confront me. Uh, a couple of potions. <laughs> Just you and me, buddy. And he's dead. <laughs> and another hefty amount of experience for me. How close am I now? <laughs> Holy jeez, less than 2,000 experience. <clears throat> when I can officially be called a Kukri Master. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about that. But Alrighty, so now that that's taken care of, I guess we should probably go back and get Sharwin. <laughs> uh, been so long since I had a henchman, I keep forgetting about her. 
All right, beautiful. Let's go. And I think as soon as you get into Luskin, you can actually tell her to level up, so I'll probably have to do that at some point. Even though she won't be probably she probably won't be fighting with me at all. Alrighty, there's the Luskin Gates, and I guess that must be the guy that uh, Aaron knows, so I guess we'll have to talk to him. And let's see if he'll, he's true to his word and will let us into Luskin next time. This is Sirik1983 signing off. Thank you for watching, and have a good one.